Hello and welcome to my channel, Blue Snakes and More. For more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, a and Snakes and Stuff. My youngest son's channel, Heaney's Toys and Games. Or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10. Today we're going to be talking about The Simpsons. So let's dive into the video. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Why The Simpsons Season 5 featured a guest role. For one of the most acclaimed actors working right now. This part was a wasted opportunity. Although The Simpsons can get almost any A-list star imaginable to appear on the series, season 35 of the show wasted one of its most high-profile guests. At the height of the show's popularity, The Simpsons was incredibly ambitious when it came to cameos. Not only did the characters of the series ask various U.S. presidents to appear on the show, but they also secured guest appearances from the likes of Michael Jackson, Johnny Cash, Elizabeth Taylor, and Stephen Hawking. Why The Simpsons Season 36 may change this. The show has relied on these starry guest spots for decades. The culture clot of the series is a double-edged sword since The Simpsons never age, the show never needs to end, and can continue to cast new celebrities and guest roles forever. This can result in stunt casting with The Simpsons, prioritizing a big-name appearance over solid writing. This can be particularly inaugurous when the guest star in question is a great actor who could have provided a stronger performance if they were giving more to work with, The Simpsons Season 35 Strongest Episodes prove the series has integrity, but its weakest outings fall into this trap. The season, Simpsons Season 35 Episode 11 Wasted, Amanda Seyfried, Homer's new professional rival, got barely any screen time. In Season 35, Episode 11, Frankenstein's Monster, Homer enlists the help of Springfield's resident nerdy super genius, Professor Frank. In a wacky scheme, Homer gets a job at the Finnish nuclear power plant by getting Fink to feed him lines via a pair of high-tech glasses. Although Homer aces the interview, this results in the plant's owner ignoring a candidate with much better qualifications was more suited to the role, Amanda Seyfried's Dr. Spavik becomes Homer's latest enemy and tries to engineer his downfall. But the acclaimed actor's guest role was wasted in a part that didn't do her justice. Why even Golden Age episodes of The Simpsons had padding, Frankenstein's monster suffered the opposite problem. The episode had two conflicting storylines that never killed, with both plots stealing screen time from each other. On the other hand, Homer's anatomy and his willingness to cheat the system leads him to get a job that could have gone to a more qualified woman. On the other hand, Frank's ability to coach Homer results in him wondering about the ethical issues involved in this ambitious experiment. With these two complete Complete competing plots, Seifield's character had no cho chance to make an impression. Amanda Seifield Simpson's role flipped her best recent success. Seifield played a hex debunker after playing Elizabeth Holmes. Seifield has a long, impressive screen career that ranges from hit comedies like Mean Girls to acclaimed dramas like Mount, to underrated cult classics like Things Heard and Seen and Jennifer's Body. What made her guest appearance on The Simpsons feel like a particularly frustrating misstep, though, was a more recent career success. Seifert brought famous fraudster Elizabeth Holmes to life in the dropout, a traumatic, miniseries that chronicled the criminals and famous 
thrown a scam since the Simpsons references real news all the time. This plot was per a perfect chance for the show to revise Seinfeld's role in the dropout. In that earlier hit, Laurie Metcalf played Phyllis Gardner, one of the first people to blow the whistle on Homer's crimes. Cy Fried could have played a similar role in Frankenstein's monster if she had more screen time in the episode attempted this when she challenged Homer to hold a conversation about nuclear physics without his all-important glasses. However, this confrontation happened mere minutes before the episode ended, and the status quo was restored to normal for the Simpsons family. So the scene carried no tension. Ironically, the Simpsons spoofed the Rones in Season 35, Episode 4, Thirst Trap, A Corporate Love Story. The Seinfeld's Wasted Simpsons cameo underlines a concealing Season 35 tr trend. Kylie Jenner and Tanika Watita's cameos were similarly pointless. Although the Simpsons season 35's Marge syntactic episodes have been strong, the show's reliance on guest stars has resulted in some particularly weak outings. Cy Fried's Dr. Spark was the most notable of these failures. Since the series went to the effort of creating a new character for the actor, only to waste Spock's potential in an episode that crammed in way too many subplots. However, Tanika Juanita's cameo in Season 35, Episode 9, Murder She Belt, was also a wasted opportunity that rallied too heavily on jokes about how great the director is. Kylie Turner's appearance in Season 35, Episode 5, Treehouse of Horror, was similarly disputing, although that pointless role was at least minutefully brief, even though Frankenstein's monster, monster wasted the stall of the dropout. The show's earlier, Thino spoof provided Season 35's strongest guest role, Elizabeth Banks, shown as for Sosferin and Thirst Trap, a corporate love story, and Bruno, a vicious scammer with an unhinged edge. Sadly, outside of that episode, The Simpsons season 35 celebrity cameos have most focused on big names over quality writing. Episode number one, episode title, Homing, Homer's Crossing, air date October 1st. Episode number two, episode title, a Mind, A Mild Childhood Night's Dream, October 8th, Episode 3, McMansion and Wife, October 22nd, Episode 4, Thirst Trap, A Corporate Love Story, October 29th, Episode 5, Treehouse of Horror, November 5th, Episode 6, Iron Marge, November 12th, Episode 7, It's a Blender for a Life, November 19th, Episode 8, a Bonnie Romance, December 3rd. Episode 9, Meter Sh Murder Sheep Boat, December 17th. Episode 10, Do the Wrong Thing, December 21st. Episode 11, Frankenstein's Monster, February 18th. Episode 12, Lisa Gets an F1. February 25th. Episode 13, Clan of the Cave Mom, March 24th. Thank you for watching this video and peace out till the next one.